hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel i just want to take a moment and say that i thank you and i appreciate you for stopping by and you know here i do so many things i vlog i do nursing related videos i do hauls i just do anything that catches my interest and I wish to share that out with anyone out there. Yes, yeah, so please just go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That encourages me and it also motivates me to do more videos. So let me introduce the video, okay? So what I'm trying to cook is, I'm trying to make stew. If you are from West Africa, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, you know, wherever... <laughs> Stew is very common in any household, in any African household. So stew in my house is always like my go-to soup. If I feel like, oh, what can I make, you know, quick or what can I cook and we all enjoy ourselves, I always think of stew. It comes to my mind like the first thing. Yes, yeah, so I want to make stew and at the same time, I want to talk about my tuba ligation post up and also my post pattern as well yes so you all know i had a baby girl and before we continue let me just say that don't look at my weight and judge me in this video okay when i did this video i think i was like seven or eight days postpartum so everything was still there i still had fluid I was even in pain like I was still in pain doing this video you know yes so I just want to talk about you know my tubal ligation uh, and postpartum so postpartum uh, I um, I healed pretty fast but the first the first week was a challenge I was always in pain I was in serious pain like I just could not even bend down to even wear my undies or do a lot of things i could not the most challenging part was climbing the stairs or going down the stairs because my leg would touch my stomach and it would hurt so bad like it really was a challenge guys and i was in so much pain i think pain was like the most annoying thing that i went through even though I had pain medication, I had ibuprofen and I also had hydro, was it hydrocodone or hydromorphone, something like that, you know, but um, I was taking them and when the medication weighs off, God, I will feel like somebody was taking a knife and cutting my stomach. That is how painful it was. Um, yeah, that was one challenge I had. Uh, after I had my baby and then another thing was my feet my feet were so swollen they were gigantic like at some point I felt like my feet were going to fall off or like explode because it was so big and I am that kind of a person that even though I was in pain even though I just had a baby I just could not sit down and you know and relax i would do things here and there you know i was touching like just trying to be me just trying to do my regular activities you know yeah so my feet were really swollen even though it wasn't painful but it was swollen and it made it difficult to go down the stairs or climb the stairs yeah so um before i continue guys uh, i forgot to tell you that uh, the video is i think is pretty self-explanatory so i'm not trying to explain anything i just want you guys to see what i'm doing i'm just showing all the ingredients that i'm using in this stew. so if you follow it um you will get you know the gist yes yeah so that is that was it about uh my post delivery and as of the tuba ligation, I, I watched other videos, people talked about the side effect they went through and so on. Uh, for me, I did not notice anything other than that. Sometimes, like in the first two weeks, I used to feel like a pinch on my, on my, uh, on my, um, 
on my belly i used to feel like somebody was just pinching me like it comes like five seconds and it disappears so i felt that for some time uh, but other than that i didn't feel any other symptom there was no side effects i felt normal i don't know if it's because they did it together with the c-section so when i was taking medication it just covered everything i wasn't in pain from it i didn't feel any discomfort from the tubal ligation yes so um i don't have anything bad to say about it the only thing is i will encourage anyone who is planning on doing the tubal ligation that if you are planning on doing it and they tell you know if you are pregnant and you plan on doing it it's good to do it when you have the baby it is much easier than you know having the baby and waiting for some time before you actually do it i think that time is gonna be more painful you might feel more uh, discomfort and all that yeah but for me i didn't feel anything uh, i felt pretty normal so yeah yes guys so i returned back to work if you guys don't know i went back to work um i was given eight weeks if you watch my previous videos i did talk about me returning to work after eight weeks yes i returned to work and your baby girl is like back to normal i'm having back my energy i feel happy that i am actually at work because i got tired of just being home doing the same routine every day they like you know not even interacting with different people i just like to just go out there even if it's a day or two and interact with people yes so i return back to work and i am loving it so guys this is my stew i just i always just let my tomato cook the tomato and the pepper that I blended, I will put it in the pot and I always just let it cook and all the water has to drain out. If you want a perfect stew, just put it in the pot, cover it and let the water drain. And it tastes so good. And then one trick that my mom taught me that I just want to share, I didn't put it in the video that if you are making stew and you have tomato if you are skeptical that the tomato might get sour just drop like a teaspoon of baking soda yes baking soda if you drop baking soda in your stew it takes all the sourness it takes the tomato sourness 100 percent out not even 99 percent but a hundred percent out try it and let me know if you cook any stew that you feel like it's gonna be sour if you don't like sour sauce you know um just drop baking soda in it yes guys so um yeah i just did not want to sit down and just explain to you guys about my tubal ligation and my post uh, baby delivery thing i just decided why not just why i'm cooking i just talk with you guys um but the in my house there's always a lot of noise so i decided to just do a voice over and i hope you guys will find this interesting i hope you guys will get one or two things from this video and this is our meal it came out perfect it came out tasting so good this was my plate i had mine with rice i think everyone had it with rice yeah i had mine with rice um so we had plantain too sometimes we can eat it with yam it just you know depend on anyone's preference so guys and i will end the video here um and i want to say thank you for stopping by and i am waiting to see you in my next video and um, I want to say adios. Bye bye, guys.